Now, my family, today, I was perusing through my YouTube, just watching some videos and stuff. And then I saw this clip from Top TV's Kevin O'Sullivan with a title saying this, and I quote, where Meghan Markle and Prince Harry stand in divorce rumors. And I remembered just a few days ago or yesterday, if I am not mistaken, I was telling you all that if Harry and Meghan are not seen for a month, you start hearing divorce rumors. I remember telling you the stuff. And the thing is, I know that this normally happens because this is what the UK media do over and over again. Over and over again. Last year, Harry and Meghan, you know, went months without being seen publicly. And right after that happened, UK media began divorce rumors around Harry and Meghan. To the point that Harry and Meghan's own friend, Nacho Figueras, when he saw a post from Sky News talking about divorce rumors between Harry and Meghan, he called that story BS. And then, when he did that, Sky News deleted its post. I remember it was Sky News Australia, owned by Rupert Murdoch himself. A Madoc owned publication, a Madoc owned media outlet spreading lies about Harry Megan. Shocked. <laughs> now, my family, as you all know, that really isn't shocking, my family. But that's what happened. They only removed the post after Nacho Figueras called the claims BS. You know? Essentially, he was calling them liars. And their story was just a bunch of nonsense. And my family, the thing is, even Carnival of so-called expert Matt Wilkinson of the Sun Tabloid himself confessed that he had gone to Montecito to investigate if rumors that Harry and Meghan were Separating was true. My family, he said that himself in an interview with Carnival of so-called expert Ingrid Seward. I remember showing you what they were saying. And my family, in his own words, he said he found nothing. He found nothing. However, a Carnival of so-called expert flew all the way from the UK to the US to try and investigate if Harry and Meghan were separating. And then he confessed he found nothing. Fast forward to now, Harry and Meghan have not been seen for simply more than three weeks. Just more than three weeks. More like two or three weeks. They have not been seen publicly. They have not been seen publicly. Already you are having UK media trying to find a way to drag Harry and Meghan out of their home or from my family, wherever they are, to come out and do something. That way UK media can have something to talk about. Remember, royal stories have completely dried up. Kate is missing, and the carnival of so-called experts have been told, listen, don't ask us questions about Kate Milton. And you all know that this carnival of so-called experts are the PR arm of the royal family. They're afraid of being cut off from the royal pool. From my family where they get their stories, from Kingston Palace, from Buckingham Palace, they are afraid of being cut off. Meaning that my family, they will 
do what they are told. So my family, clearly, they can't ask questions about Kim Milton. So what are they left with? William and Charles don't sell papers. So of course, you're going to look for Harry and Meghan. You are going to want them to come out and do something, an event, an engagement, whatever. That way you can have something to talk about. And that is why UK Media always, if they don't see Harry Meghan for like three weeks, divorce rumors begin. My family. Even Talk TV, on the comment section, they're asking this question. Will Harry and Meghan get divorced? Remember, they're doing this simply because Harry and Meghan have not been seen publicly just for a few weeks. Just for a few weeks. This is done to try and lure them out. And my family, I want you to be able to hear some things which I've extracted from what Kevin O'Sullivan was my family saying from this video from uh, Talk TV. And my family, I want you to be able to kindly please uh, see this stuff. Please kindly. Please kindly see this stuff. This guy is so full of hate, my family. Can you please look at this, please? Can they you know? How much longer can they cling on to their $100 million Netflix contract? Is the infatuated prince tormented by something that worries him a lot more? That is the terrifying prospect of Meghan leaving him. Is she the boss who must be obeyed? The, does Harry make sure... My family, let me just clearly pause there for a second. Let me just clearly pause there for a second. Number one, he focuses on Harry and Meghan's deal with Netflix, hoping that it ends. As I've also told you, UK Media are hoping that the deal ends. They're hoping that it ends. That way they'll be like, okay, so... Can Harry Meghan come over here and uh, do some duties for us in exchange for money? Remember, that's what they want. And no wonder they're angry whenever they see that Meghan is working on a new commercial venture. No wonder they're angry whenever they hear that Harry Meghan has seen a new deal, a new commercial deal. They'll always be angry when they hear that because that's not what they want to hear. What they want to hear is the deal with Netflix that Harry Meghan have ending. That's what UK Media want to hear. It somehow gives them some sick pleasure. Somehow hoping that Harry and Meghan fail. And that if they fail, they get to see Harry crawl back with a tail between his legs, begging Pa and William for money. These people... Dream about that happening day in, day out. From Monday to Sunday, they don't think about anything else that, but just that. And my family has been more than four years after Harry and Meghan fled the UK. But still, this is stuff you are hearing from the UK media. Their bitterness, their extreme bitterness. Because Harry would much rather be Meghan's husband, Archie and Lily's father, than the prince spending, spending his time following William around for the rest of his life. Apparently, that's supposed to be a huge honor, <laughs> according to the UK media. But it's a life of misery, a life of misery, which in the end, if you put up with the misery and happiness that UK media will cause you to experience, will put you through, in the end, they'll say glowing things about you, like what they did to Margaret. Like they say that Margaret gave up love for duty. That's what they always say about Margaret. When you read Spare, her life was miserable. But with the way you came in and speak about her, you will think that she accomplished something by giving up the person she loved for duty. She was miserable all her life. 
Even Harry in uh, the in Spare, yes, in Spare, he speaks about how his father, Charles, tells him that, my darling boy, if you just put up with the abuse of the key media, in the end, they'll respect you for it. <laughs> and then Pa, Charles, used Philip as an example, whereby he said that, you know what, the papers also tormented Philip. But now he can do no wrong in their eyes. He can do no wrong. And remember, Harry was speaking with Pa, his father, after Prince Philip's funeral. Remember that. Don't forget that, please. Don't forget that. You know? And then <laughs> Prince Harry said, so should I have to wait until I'm 60 years old or like 70 years old until Yuki Media, until then, that Yuki Media will now respect me, put up with, the, with abuse and the end, they respect you. My family, no, they won't respect you. You will live a miserable life. And my family, and for what? And for what? And for what? Because the thing is, what UK media have done to Harry Meghan, the hate campaign, smear campaign, they intend on doing it to Archie and Lily Diana. Let's get that very clear. As parents, Harry has said himself as a father that he intends to be the one who breaks that cycle. How do you break it if you're in the raw fold? And of course, the people who profit from the trauma that members of the royal family experience are the UK media and they have an agenda and their agenda is money. It's money. It's money. Even right now, as you can see, the, what they're trying to do here is lure Harry and Meghan out. Is to make them come out and prove that all is well. That's what is happening right now. And that's what happened last year. But Tuki Media did not get what they wanted last year. And that's why for months they kept on with this lie. Oh, Harry and Meghan are getting a divorce for months. All of it was done to lure Harry and Meghan out. And the same thing is happening this year. I'm actually family, this month. This month, yeah, this month. Because for months, Harry and Meghan have been seen, let's say, once or twice, at least once a month or twice a month. And for the media, that's okay with them. But if you go past a month without being seen, and then you're having members of the royal family also constantly on vacation, then of course, Wikipedia are going to want members of the royal family who are not taxpayer funded to come out and perform for them because they've been told by the firm that Harry and Meghan are fair game. You can do anything you want to them. You can say anything you want about them. But you can't say anything about Kimoton. You can't ask questions about her. My family, that's why Despite K. Moulton not being seen since last year, UK media are the dutiful servants of the monarchy, keeping their mouths shut about it. And when you ask about K. Moulton, when you say, where is K. Moulton, you are accused of trolling K. Moulton for asking about our whereabouts. My family, that's what happens over and over again. And that's what's happening right now. And yeah, Kevin O'Sullivan, in the In Spare, and even in the Harry and Meghan documentary, I even, you know, I keep watching the documentary over and over again, not just once or twice, I keep watching it over and over again. I remember that um, I was watching, I mean, just a few days ago again, just put it on my TV and just let it play, because I've watched over and over again. And I remember once again, the Prince Harry talks about the UK media and how whenever he would have a girlfriend, they would never ever give him any peace. Never. 
they will not give him peace at all. That way, Yuki Media, whenever they harass your girlfriend or someone that you're with, you know, eventually, when you're at the second girlfriend or third one, they'll say, wait, wait a minute. I don't want to put up with this media harassment because you're having tabloids paying parazi to basically, you know, harass family members of the person that you're going out with. And how does that person feel? That person wants to break up with you because of what's happening to them. Because they're, they're like, no, I cannot deal with this, you know, harassment. You're a good guy, but I can't deal with this. Harry himself was afraid of losing Megan. Yes, he was. He's afraid of losing Megan. Even right now, he's afraid of losing his wife, Megan. Because of the actions of the UK media. And no wonder he's trying so hard to get security for his family, for Megan, for Archie, for Lilibet, for himself. No wonder Harry is trying so hard, he's working so hard to get security for his family. Because he's afraid that that UK media smear campaign against him and Megan, my family has riled up someone to want to cause harm to people he loves, his family, Megan, Archie, Lilibet. In fact, Harry even said that in an interview with Tom Bradby. He said, Yuki Media, he has no problem with what they say about him because he knows it's a lie. But he draws a line when Yuki Media are inserting hatred against his family, against Megan, against Archie, Against little bit, which UK media have never ever stopped doing for years now. So yeah, Harry is afraid of losing Megan. He's afraid of losing the mother of his kids. Like what happened to his own mother, Diana? You know? And my family, as Harry even said, history was clearly repeating itself. When it came to Megan, with how she was being harassed by the UK public media. Even right now, as you can, when you hear his, the words of Kevin O'Sullivan, this guy, he can't stand it that Prince Harry is protecting the woman he loves. He prefers a husband who does not protect his wife at all. Even Charles and William prefer that. I mean, look at what... You know, as happened with Kim Milton. The woman's missing, my family. The woman is missing. William's wife is missing. Charles' wife, Diana, she died. So, so as you can see, the propaganda arm of the royal family are somehow spreading this idea, this illusion, that it's, it's, it's a bad thing that Prince Harry is afraid of losing his wife. That somehow because he's afraid of losing Megan, he's being controlled by her for being afraid of losing the mother of your child. Because this abuse, this insult that Megan has experienced, it's all designed and meant to try and drive her out of Harry's life. Even Harry said in an interview with Stephen Colbert that my family, UK Media, they thought and believed Megan would leave. But they never ever imagined that he would leave with Megan. And even four years later, they still can't believe it. They still cannot believe Prince Harry left with Megan. More than four years later, Kevin O'Sullivan can't believe it. The Prince Harry much rather, you know, would much rather be Megan's husband, Archie and Lily's father, than my family, a prince. Who depends on power for money? Then a prince, who my family has to beg for money from Pa and William, just take, take abuse in exchange for that money. They can't stand that Harry respects himself. He respects his family. Because someone who does not respect his family would hand over his family to the UK public media, like what Charles did to William and Harry when they're growing up, my family. Charles fed Harry and William to the walls 
in exchange for getting good praise for himself. That's what he did. And that's what he continues to do. And it's sad. It's really, really sad. But that's just who, you know, Charles is. And all these attempts by the community to try and drag Harry and Meghan out of their homes or come out and appear publicly for the Wikimedia. My family, this, what's going on here is just sickening. It's just sickening. And it shows you just how unethical, corrupt Wikimedia truly are. And uh, once again, what is so hypocritical is that they then blame Harry and Meghan for the obsession that they have on Harry Megan. My family, please kindly continue, you know, here it is, please. Make sure that Megan gets what Megan wants. Does he bend over backwards to be like his virtue signaling other half? Somehow you get the feeling that the answer is an emphatic yes. As the prince went public with his protective letter to the media, insiders recall that in the firestorm of the breaking romantic story, his main motivation was a profound fear that Meg would recoil from the global limelight and head for the hills. Megan, recoil from the limelight, that'll be the day. My family, that's what I want you to hear. The part where you see my family, and hear this again, my family, please kindly. From the limelight, that'll be the day, just maybe. Harry Megan, record from the limelight, that will be the day. My family, he says that to portray Megan as someone who is attention seeking, as someone who loves, enjoys the limelight being on her. That's why Kevin O'Sullivan says what he says. And my family, the thing is, let me call him out for his hypocrisy. Because here you are, whinging, mourning, complaining about Megan. If you are saying that Megan loves the limelight, loves the attention, then why are you giving it to her? <laughs> you can be the first person who says, I am not going to give Megan the attention. My family, Kevin O'Sullivan, can't go a day without mentioning Harry and especially Megan's name. He can't go a day. He can't. He can't. Even a week, he cannot. He is, it's beyond him. He can't. That's where he gets his bread and butter. By mentioning Harry and Meghan's names. By using Harry and Meghan's names to get clicks. To get ad revenue. That's what Kevin O'Sullivan does over and over again. That's what he does. You know? That's what he does. That's who he is, my family. And he is so, so full of hate. Kevin O'Sullivan is so full of hate. And I condemn his hate campaign against Harry and especially against Meghan. You know? In my family, basically, as you've heard, you know, from Kevin O'Sullivan, you know, these people right now, even what they're doing right now, trying to create this uh, divorce rumors, my family, of whereby the headline is, you know, and let me just read this headline, my family, once again, from Talk TV, where Meghan Markle and Prince Harry stand in divorce rumors. Will Harry and Meghan get divorced? That's the question Talk TV is asking its viewers. And my family, he's doing that because the person who he calls attention seeking, the person who he says loves the limelight, Megan, has not been seen for weeks. And because of that, he's doing it to try and lure her to come out and prove all is well between her and Prince Harry. That way, the UK media who are told you can't ask questions about Kim Moulton and William and Charles don't sell papers, Camilla doesn't sell papers. So, of course, you're going to have to look to my family, the biggest stars, the biggest royals in the world, Harry and Meghan. You're going to look at them and demand that they come out and perform for you, which is what Kevin O'Sullivan is doing. And my family, that makes him a hypocrite. 
I'm just being truthful. I'm just being truthful. By doing what he's doing, my family, he is exposing and showing the entire world how full of hypocrisy my family he truly is. That's what Kevin O'Sullivan is doing. You know? Because they're like, oh, Megan, that's the limelight. And my family, here you are giving someone who you say is this attention seeking limelight and then blaming her for you for your obsession that you have on her. If she loves the limelight and you hate it, then why are you giving her attention? Is it not easier not to talk about her? Is it not easier not to give her attention? But that's what you're doing. My family, nobody, nobody, and even Harry said so himself in, in my family's spare. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants this hate campaign that has lasted for more than four years. Not four years, my family. That's, you know, Harry Meghan fled the UK four years ago. This hate campaign has been going on for close to eight years now. Nobody wants this stuff. Nobody wants to feel unsafe. Like how Megan has felt because of the hate campaign waged against her by the key media. Harry and Megan mostly keep a low profile. That's what they mostly do. You know? And then here you are having UK media try to drag Harry and Meghan, you know, out of their home to come out and do something to refute the lies that are being spread by the UK media about them. That way UK media can have something to talk about. That way, community can have content, material. Because make no mistake, that's what Kevin O'Sullivan is looking for. Material. He is looking for content to use. That's what Kevin O'Sullivan is looking for. Content to use. Against Harry Megan. My family and this is what i have always been saying to all of you if harry and megan aren't seen for just a few weeks you will hear divorce rumors this is done to lure harry and megan out to make them come out and do something that way you can media the rotor can have something to do to talk about family and remember megan in the harry and megan documentary saying something very very important he said, my family, she said that when she and Prince Harry were fleeing the UK, they wanted to pick a country whereby the rota, this carnival of so-called experts, were not based because they're based in the UK. So Harry Meghan talked about New Zealand, Canada. Eventually, they fled to the US, my family, where they've been living there for more than four years now. But the rota will have you think that Megan is attention seeking. Even if Megan has ever said she and Harry who wanted to go to a place where the rota were not based. She practically did not want to be covered by these people like Kevin O'Sullivan. But Kevin O'Sullivan tells his viewers Megan is attention seeking because my family they want to justify their obsession with her and Megan and blame it on Megan. Saying that she's the one who wants this. She's the one. It's her fault. It's her. She wants this. Megan does not want your obsession with her. Megan doesn't want you to obsessively stalk her 24 hours a day. Megan wants nothing to do with the Rorota. And you would think they would have gotten the memo. You would think that they would have gotten the memo because Megan has no set foot in the UK for more than two years now. Whenever she does set foot in the UK, she's at Heathrow Airport. But still, my family, you know, UK media, obsess over her. Mention her name. Megan has not even said a word about Charles, William, Kate, Camilla. I did for more than a year now. I think you're putting even two years now, my family. But still, 
the carnival of so-called experts won't stop mentioning her name. Her name is mentioned every single day. And then this carnival of so-called experts have the audacity to say it's Megan who loves the attention. It's Megan who loves the limelight. She enjoys it. Yet Megan made it very clear she doesn't want anything to do with the rota. She made that very, very clear. Even in the documentary, she made that very clear. You know? In my family, I, I can't stand seeing this carnival of so-called experts try to portray Megan as someone who my family is somehow attention-seeking when Megan clearly doesn't want anything to do with my family, you know, her abuses. You know? Megan wants nothing to do with my family, her abuses. And that is my family a fact. And Kevin O'Sullivan, you need to leave Harry and Megan alone. You need to leave the Harry Megan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex alone. And my family, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just uh, discussed. You know? Megan is my family working on an American Rivera Orchard lesser brand. If you can meet the theme that Megan as someone, even if let's say the deal with Netflix ends, my family, it is not the end of the chapter for Megan. They'll work on something new. Again, and again and again and again but one thing that harry won't do is go back to the arms of his abuser and what the megan especially megan won't do ever my family is ever go to the arms of her abusers charles william k camilla and then beg them please give me some money <laughs> that's never gonna happen my family i think i've said enough i want to hear opinion on what we have discussed god bless harry megan archie and also Lily Petana and Doria Ragland, and all of you members that got at home. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned on this video. And may no weapon form like this Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bet, Diana ever prosper. My family. You know, Harry and Megan, keep enjoying your lives. Keep enjoying your lives. You know, you are having, you keep your thirsty for content about you. They really want. To, they really want you. They really want to talk about you. They really want to obsess over you. They wanna, they wanna make money off of you, Harry Megan. Harry Megan, you know, may you keep on making money for yourselves and your own living, and your own living beyond bills. And please never ever be at the mercy of your abusers for money for anything. Never ever be at their mercy. My family, now I think I've said enough. I wanna hear your opinion on what we discussed. God bless Harry, Megan Archie, and also Lily Petana and Doria Buckland, and all of you members of Korat Home. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to this video. And may no weapon for against Harry, Megan Archie, and also Lily Pet, Diana ever prosper. Love you all forever, and may God bless you so much. Hello, members of Musical Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.